I see Michelle Bird's song, Eve, Mother of All Living, Daughter of the Sun, Queen of Information, in New York City. Before I begin this uh, presentation, I'd like to tell you about a video I just watched that I think everybody should see. It's called Secretary Ben Carson Says California's Homeless Crisis is Not a Partisan Issue. And you can see this video by Googling that. And uh, it's at the Fox News Channel. Now, uh, Secretary Ben Carson was St. Luke, the disciple of St. Paul. St. Paul is uh, being as uh, Dr. Mike Murdoch, a televangelist. And I wanted to make a note that talk and share therapy can help the mental health crisis in California. Okay. Um, so I hope you'll watch that because it's um, relevant information to all American citizens. And where mainstreaming close to you today is New Year's Eve 2019. Okay, so the video we're, we're going to be commenting about is entitled Joe Dispenza. He's a doctor, unlocking the human mind at the London Real Channel. Okay, he says, Awareness is consciousness is commingled with energetic change. We have to learn to harness and organize that energy. I believe, says Dr. Dispenza, that energy is endorsing who you're being. You don't try to fix the mess. You create something better. The corrupt Congress, says Eve, we can replace with the holy royal family of humans, saints, gods, geniuses, and mystics. And uh, Dr. Dispenser says, I'm not sure I believe anything I see on television is just not factual. I think people are wired to care for one another. As I travel around the world, whatever place I'm in, I get a sense of goodness to support one another, uh, to give to one another. Note from Eve, these are the people, Eve, mother of all living, saved, when as a little girl, nine years old, she asked God not to destroy the world. She gave as her reason, because there are so many good people who don't deserve to be destroyed. I think if you want to dis discourage, okay, now this is Dr. Dispenza talking. I think if you want to discourage that virtuous behavior, you create fear, you create separation, you create stress hormones, those emotions create separation. No, I don't trust you any longer. In survival, you have to take care of yourself. You become selfish, create a set of chemicals that cause us to endorse our ego. That's what happens in survival mode. And Dr. Dispenza says we have to be able to rise above these emotional states. And when you do, you're no longer controlled. The best way to control people is to control their emotions. And when you control their emotions, of course, they're going to keep their attention moving from one thing to the next. Everybody's looking at all this drama. I'm more interested in what is going on over here. I don't really look at the media, at journalism the same way. 
because I don't necessarily get the whole story. People are angry about that. I think the anger is good because when it's seen as an energy of disturbance, but that's good when it motivates us to act or to do something about it. It's that analogy of that frog in the boiling water. You get desensitized. You get more desensitized. At what point do you start burning? At what point do we get too hot? So by creating something for people to utilize, you're not relying on things outside of you to bring you joy or this kind of subconscious programming of being a victim. You say, Brian, why are you so upset today? Well, I'm upset because of this person. What that means is some person in your environment is controlling the way you're feeling, you're thinking. If something outside of you is controlling your feeling and thinking you're a victim to your environment, there's this dramatic polarity going on. When things are going well, you're happy. When things are not going well, you're sad. When you learn how to self-regulate, note from Eve, which you can do with talk and share self-therapy. Dr. Dispenza says, you create more coherence in your brain, thoughts, thinking, and heart, emotions, feelings. That's what our message is. Then you're no longer feeling being the victim of your life but start to be the creator of your life. Message, decoded. Me, she, sage, stop to order age, energy, paw God, energy, Oh, God, energy. Now, that would be the son, right? The father, the father. Okay, life. Now, who will I for pleasure, I for feel, E for energy. Will pleasure feel energy? That's life, Dakota. It's a process, says Dr. DeZenza, of repattering, patterning of rewiring of self, reflection, and awareness. Note from Eve, this is what talk and share therapy entails. You can do by yourself with a teacher or preferably with a family member. Dr. Dispenser says, changing your beliefs, that's the work. Yet people are doing it said they're doing it said lol what is that said i can't i can't respond to the same conditions in my life with the same emotions and same thoughts this is dr dispenser because i believe the way i think and the way i feel creates reality then if I react and think the same way, I keep affirming the same life. A person has to retreat from their life, disconnect from their outer world, and begin to lay down patterns in their brain so that the brain is no longer a record of the past. They're priming the circuitry for them to be able to think differently. They can rehearse who they're going to be in that day. The act of mentally rehearsing triggers neurological responses. So the brain looks like the experience has already happened. Now the brain is no longer a record of the past. They're creating a map for the future. By rehearsing again and again the new person they want to be, after a while they're going to automatically start thinking in new ways. So trade to trade guilt 
or anxiety or aggression or anger to lay those to say those are emotions of the past they are influencing my thoughts they are records of the past no from eve with talk and share therapy we own the past context when we experience the emotion when we refill the emotion in context it no longer exists in my subconscious programming also when i experience hurt just pleasure in the presence if i don't acknowledge it the hurt as pain settles into my body when i remember the hurt and real alive that i let it into my being it goes away the hurt goes away people who ignore or let slide hurts get a pile of hurts in their body called disease arthritis for example let's decode arthritis art the as you are to the hurt it is stuck in my body body die indicates subconscious programming that your body dies indication indicates i in this as a new subway train of thought the train of thought i see at energy spoken okay so see, see what that that saying the programming okay number 1 change your programming change your death sentence this up here about the body die okay number 1 acknowledge the death sentence the belief that your body will die number 2 affirm often that you are going to live in your body healthy forever until you believe this until you accept this as fact unless you have a conscious death wish if you do have a conscious death wish you should know that the human body is the best body of all the uh, 8 million 600,000 species you can be from a fungus to a skunk to an invisible soul with no body at all when you die after purgatory where judgment occurs to decide where your energy fits how you have lived your life what kind of person you were if you for example were a sharing caring mellow person who liked a great deal of sex you go to the body of a bonobo miniature chimp all the bodies and the lower species endure unspeakable miseries the human body is at the top of the evolutionary ladder because in it you can achieve with talk and share self therapy self realization and god realization my path to my future says dr dispenza if i want to be wealthy i can't bring lack to the future if i want to be healthy i can't bring pain so let's get beyond the emotions by trading those survival emotions and teaching people how to elevate their emotional states and really measure to tell them you're really doing it or you're not doing it to teach your body emotionally what that future is going to feel like i'm reminded okay eve says i'm reminded of scientist greg brayton's book title human by design 
which I'm currently reading. Dispenser said, You say I'm not going to get up until I feel this feeling. You're locked into the feeling. You can contact the emotions of your future, and you can teach your body what it feels emotionally. The joy, the gratitude, the joy for existence, the inspiration. Eve says, breathing in and out. Exhalation, breathing out. Inspiration, breathing in. And exhalation, breathing out. Note, exhalation. That's what I would feel when I would see the sun, God, and this, his son, God, Jesus Christ, Gurinda Singh Dillon. Exhalation means a feeling or state of extreme happiness. I, mother, told my mother, it should be, told me she wanted me to have self-respect and happiness. Exhalation, second meaning, the action of elevating someone in rank, power, or character. The resurrection and exhalation of Christ. Similar words, elevation, he was pi, P-I, high in the sky. That's the sun, raising, rise. He does the sunrise every day so far. So the beginning, in the beginning, people feel funny, says Dr. Dispenser, when they're first learning to get rid of their programming he's talking about. Why am I doing this? Because they've been hypnotized to need a reason to feel that. Something outside of them's got to happen to change what they feel inside. Note from Eve, mother of all living. Jesus Christ being a saint, Charon Singh said sometimes for no reason, you just feel happy. He was talking about the state of being conscious. When you are present in the moment, in the now, for example, when you're in love, stay in love, in love with life, in love with yourself. Charon Singh, Jesus Christ said to Eve, I think you have to fall in love with yourselves. I have fallen in love with my present and past lives selves. I, was, I have been as Shakespeare, Nikola Tesla, Einstein, Marcus Aurelius, Charles Dickens, Emily Dickinson, Ian Rand, Ella Fitzgerald, Sarah Vaughan, Marian Anderson, Socrates, Queen Isabella, Queen Elizabeth I, Baroness Maria Van Trapp, once a nun, Guru Nanak, Tulsi Sahib, Pran Kumar Sharma, Venus, Goddess of Love, Cinderella, Little Bo Peep, Henry Ford, Ralph Waldo Emerson, Daughter of the Savior, the Son, Beethoven, Helen Keller, Pocahontas, Wife of Six U.S. Presidents, Washington, Glenn Beck, John Adams, Mark R. Levin, Thomas Jefferson, Sean Hannity, um, his common-law slave wife, I was, James Madison, Booker T. Washington, Lionel Richie, Abraham Lincoln, Anthony, Tony Robbins, Ulysses S. Grant, Owen Benjamin Smith, Sarah Abraham, the father of Christianity, Judaism, and Islam, Tommy Robinson, the wife, I was his wife, Abraham's wife, and the mother of Isaac, our son, Paul Joseph Watson, I was Freud, Fritz Perls, uh, Emma Young, Carl Jung's wife, Moses' daughter, who is Joel Osteen, and St. Peter's daughter, who is um, retired Lieutenant General John Hopper. Okay, I'm going to have to make a part two. So I hope you enjoyed this, uh, and I will uh, make a part two very soon.